Right, I just wanted to share with you a quick tip. Um, when you're making shaker cards, it's very easy. So I've just literally just cut... I've cut this panel out of sparkly card and then I've gone ahead and stuck the acetate on the back. However, I've then realised that I need to put the foam onto my card blank not onto the back of here so I should have drawn I should have lain this on that card first and then with pencil I should have drawn round drawn around the edge here of the aperture onto the card below and then I could put my acetate on because then I would have been left with as you can see a circle and so then I would know my foam pads need to go all around there but I didn't do that so I wanted to show you a little trick that I've just realized <laughs> I mean this might have been out there already but I've only just had this revelation using a stamp positioning tool okay so what I did was so obviously the, the stamp positioner comes with these magnets if they don't come with the magnets you can buy super strong ones like this one this is ridiculously strong see how strong that is um so i can do it now yeah so you can buy really strong ones online as well so if you get yourself make sure you've got you really need three i would say three strong magnets okay this is magnetic this is a tim holtz stamp positioning board and it's magnetic so what you need to do take your card blank and position it into the bottom corner of your stamping platform. Take your panel that you should have not put the acetate on, but you have. Position it on the card where you want it to be. So I want it to be there. Take one magnet and put it just to the side, um, not obviously where the, this is, it needs to be off, off, not where the area that's cut is. Then you take your die and you re-slot it back into position on top of the card, okay? Then you take your stamping platform and you shut it on top. Take a magnet, attach it, take the other magnet, drop it on top, okay? once you've done that very carefully lift up your platform and the magnets will hold your die in place be very careful you don't move it now with that i wouldn't lay it down if i were you in case you jog the magnets so leave it just hold just hold it to one side and then what you want to do in fact you probably can if you're careful there we go then what you want to do is take this magnet off and take your panel off then put your magnet back onto the card and then close your stamp positioning platform like that now you take your magnets off the top open your platform up carefully and then holding that in position you draw around the edge of your die all the way around like that and do the outside edge not the inside edge it's easier um, if you've got a die where you can't do the outside edge, then obviously you need to do the inside edge. But if you can, do the outside edge. And then move your die out of the way. And you have a circle. So now you know. You can go ahead now. And stick. I need something where. You can go ahead and stick your foam pads on. Not those ones. <laughs> Around the outside of your aperture.
Okay, so although I haven't shown you how to do the whole shaker card, okay, but basically in a nutshell, all I've done is cut a panel that's obviously slightly smaller than my card, and then I have die cut using this die cut, which is a, a do crafts one, X cut one. I've die cut that out the front of the panel. Um, I put some sticky on the back, I put some um, adhesive sheets on the back and I used this one, I used the sticks to A4 double sided adhesive sheets and I just stuck a section on the back so you see where it's sticky on there. So I just stuck that on the back and then I ran it through the die cutting machine um, and then I peeled the backing off added the acetate, which is that there, and then obviously realised I'd done things the wrong way around, because normally you'd, you'd do your, your aperture first. Um, so yeah, so I just thought I'd show you how to do that. So I'm just going to carry on now and show you the rest of the card, since I'm here, I may as well. Um, I'm just going to put some more pads on here. You will notice I have left some gaps between the pads. Now I'm hoping that my shaker elements will not be that small. I was thinking of using sequins but I'm now wondering whether I might use some table confetti. So I'm going to have a look and see what I want to use um, and then hopefully depending on <laughs> what I decide hopefully it'll be alright. So I'm just going to add a few pads just in the corner here and down this side. That one there is in the way. I'm just going to take that off and replace it with a half square. There we go. Right, so now I'm just going to go and find um, some shaker elements and I should be right back. Right now, so because I've got these balloons which I've die cut and this was actually a failed <laughs> a failed sharpie and alcohol experiment that went very wrong um, well I say very wrong it didn't turn out how I wanted it to turn out and then I found this which is table confetti I don't know if you can see it very well it's basically lots of like balloons um, and little swirly things so I'm going to use that so I'm going to sprinkle a few of these in here. Now, my card is wanting to bow, which isn't very helpful. So I'm just going to hold that down. Put a few more in. Not too many. I reckon that will probably be enough. So now I'm going to just pause the camera and I'm going to take all the sticky bits off here. You don't want to watch me take all of those off. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do that now and then I'll come back to you. Right, so as you can see by my little pile of pieces, <laughs> I've taken all the backing off all of those. So now I'm just going to flip this over, move the back in from these, and then we're going to stick the panel down. Right, so now I'm going to stick the panel down. Excuse me if my head gets in the way, but I want to get it straight. There we go. So all we need to do now is add our die cut balloons. I 
on the side. So there we have it, the finished card. Now, for those of you who want to know, um, this card size is a 5 by 7 card. And the top card, which is um, from Paper Mill Direct, and it's called Sparkle Print Christmas Green 300 GSM. That's what it's called. A beautiful card. Um, and this front panel measures six and six and five eighths by four and three quarters of an inch. Okay, so that's what I've used. I did just eye it. I didn't even measure it to be honest with you. I just eyed it so that it would have a, a border. Um, and as I said, the die I've used is an X-cut one. These are also X-cut dies. They're balloon dies uh, from a while ago. So yeah, but I just wanted to show you the, the little um, hack with the um, shaker card. Because I've done it a few times where I've put the acetate on and then I've ended up having to turn it over and put the foam tape around the outside of the, of the acetate, the reverse. But then you've then got to try and stick the card on, like back to front. So it's it's a nightmare. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you, share that with you. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, not a normal kind of video for me, but I just wanted to share that quick tip. So I hope you liked it. Um, please like and subscribe.